Thanks for rolling up to uh, Marley. Certified pothead. Uh, rolling up one of my uh, mid morning splits and shit. Ain't ready to twist up backward. You know, you know what you about to do, bro. Let's go. Let's go ahead and jump in. The local brand here. As new cannabis businesses open in Sacramento. Security and cannabis kind of go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. The city's Office of Cannabis Management is giving out rebates to hundreds of these businesses to up their security systems. You know, there is some vulnerability in having a cash only business. And so um, I think that makes cannabis somewhat of a target. And I think that's why a lot of these security measures are now um, being updated uh, at crystalnugs.com. Crystal Nugs is one of 58 licensed delivery dispensaries in the city of Sacramento. And while Misha Bahati works out of a warehouse, the risk of becoming a victim of a crime threatens the likelihood of staying afloat. Cannabis is one of the... All right, hold on real quick. We, we, okay, this is a story on, on increasing security at, at, at cannabis shops. And and we've been saying for, for a minute, bro, that uh, cannabis shops need security, bro. And she's giving you all the reasons, bro. It's a cash-only business. Cash-only businesses are targets for robbery because they got mad cash in there, bro. When niggas, when niggas is going into weed shops for robberies, bro, they not going in there to try to get weed. They'll take weed. Like, if you're going in there to rob some shit, you'll take anything. But the goal is to get cash flow, bro. The goal is to get cash flow. That's why, that's why it's a big problem that weed shops can't deal with fucking banking and shit, bro. That's why the that's why this shit got to go. That's why this shit got to go federal, bro. The industries that product is not traceable. Um, again, it's cash, so it is a huge target. And if you're a small business, you know a lot of things aren't insured. From 2018 to 2021, 205 robberies and burglaries were reported to the Sacramento Police Department. As of March, that's that's not that's not really a lot, bro. That was what. 2008 to 18 19 20 21 four years and it's only 200 i mean that's not a small number but it's not a real big number like that's 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 what once one every four or five days like them just ain't happening every single day that's just that's just worse than one four or five days bro that's 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 what one 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 once a week March of this year, there were 252 cannabis businesses in the city. Probably a reason why, you know, security is a utmost concern because we are all cash business. Unfortunately, because it's still federally illegal. The crimes were committed against labs, stores, manufacturers, delivery and cultivation sites. That's all the goddamn aspects of fucking weed production. Labs, they, 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 what are they going to get from labs? A whole bunch of small, small amounts of weed from all over the, the place. I mean, they're going to, they probably going to be the best dank available if you go into a lab to get it though. Because people said the dank that they send to labs are the best buds out of the batches. So you're going to go get it, you're going to go get some weed from a lab, bro. You, you're getting some flame, bro. Yeah, you're getting some flame, bro. That's for sure. Absolutely. And this is a growing industry. It is among the top 10 employment sectors in the city. And District 6 does have the most cannabis um, business in the city. Live in Midtown, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. All right, Maricela, thank you. Well, as we mentioned earlier, the largest cannabis mega store in the Sacramento area officially opened today, Colas opened a new dispensary. It's almost 8,000 square feet. It is big, it's hard to miss. It has more than 1,000 cannabis products, but yeah, it's the high profile location product. of the store that has people talking. Most cannabis stores are as they're traditionally called dispensaries in industrial zones, warehouse districts, 
sometimes questionable neighborhoods. To come in a main shopping center with Hobby Lobby, Kohl's, Olive Garden is massive. It means cannabis has now entered the mainstream. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How, how, that's not an issue. Do y'all know who the Hobby Lobby people is? The Hobby Lobby people are the extreme Christians people that was like, we don't want nobody that worked for us to be able to get birth control. And they're okay with a weed shop being in the same area as them? That might be a sign of progress, bro. Yeah, that might be a sign of some true progress. While the business has a focus on education with certain areas of the pot shop dedicated to teaching its customers. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. You know what I mean? Security definitely got to be beefed up in dispensaries. You know what I mean? Um, again, them shits, them shits are sitting ducks, bro. If you want a quick lick, bro, dispensaries is, is, is the spot to go to because, again, they they keep cash on hand, bro. I don't even think, I don't even think they can, like, 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 take all the cash from the store, go deposit that shit anywhere. They got to take that shit home with them. Yeah, but, you know what I mean? So Sacramento is giving money back to dispensaries to beef up the security. That's what's up. That's what's up. It, it should it should slow down um the rate of uh dispo robberies. At least at least in theory anyway. 